Now, the next front in the war on cancer could be in our genes. Onyx Pharmaceuticals is developing treatments for cancer-based on Genix. For more, we're joined by the CEO and the president, Dr. Tony Coles. Dr. Coles, welcome to Bloomberg. Thank you. Good to see you. Now, you've got two main drugs that are out there. Let's talk about the first one, Nexavar. This has been used to treat kidney cancer as well as liver cancer. It's been out there for, well, for kidney cancer, I guess it's been about three, five years, liver cancer, uh, three years. Tell us about Nexavar. What kind of market are we talking about? Well, Nexavar is uh, in a unique class of uh, agents. Uh, it has the two current indications to treat kidney cancer and liver cancer, as you mentioned. Uh, and these are, I should remind everyone, uh, two very deadly diseases. We've made important strides in kidney cancer, and Nexavar has been at the frontier of that since it's been on the market. And in liver cancer, we're the only approved therapy for patients who have liver cancer. Uh, this is a significant problem. It's a deadly disease. And interestingly enough, uh, there are about 600,000 cases on an annual basis. And what most people don't know is that most of those cases, more than 50 or 60 percent of those cases, happen outside the United States. Well, indeed, you and I were just talking before you came on that something like 300,000 people are estimated to die of liver cancer in China a year and 40,000 yes. in Japan. Why the predominance of liver cancer in those Asian countries? Well, very interestingly, there's a, a known relationship between the incidence of hepatitis, both hepatitis B and hepatitis C, which, which is an enviral infection of the liver, and the incidence of liver cancer. And in those parts of the world, the Asia-Pacific markets, China, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, there's a very high incidence of hepatitis. And this is what we believe causes the high incidence of liver cancer. Uh, Dr. Cole, you're also undergoing trials for Nexavar for other types of cancer. Can you bring us up to date? Of course. We had very compelling data for the use of Nexavar in combination with other chemotherapy agents in breast cancer. We reported these findings last year and are in fact moving quickly to a registration trial that we can discuss with the FDA so that we might be able to bring Nexavar to the market in breast cancer. Breast cancer, as you know, is also a deadly disease, uh, but there are uh, important progress uh, that we've made to date. Uh, more women are surviving breast cancer, and we certainly hope that Nexavar will provide a new frontier in the treatment of this disease where there's still great unmet need. We also got very compelling data earlier in both thyroid cancer and lung cancer, which is another important killer of, uh, of uh, patients. Uh, the data suggests that Nexavar uh, alone in both of these indications or diseases might actually help patients live longer and better lives. Now, Dr. Cole, another drug that you've got at Onyx Pharmaceuticals is carfilzomib, and this is designed to treat multiple myeloma. Tell us about carfilzomib. Carfilzomib is the second potential uh, marketed product that our company might have. It could come as early as next year, and it's designed to treat multiple myeloma, which is a blood cancer that affects some 50,000 Americans on an, on an ongoing basis. We estimate there are about 20,000 new cases of multiple myeloma, and this blood cancer uh, is, uh, is also one of the most fatal cancers uh, that we know of today. Almost every patient who gets multiple myeloma will indeed, despite very good therapies, relapse. And most patients will go on to die of this particular condition. So there's an important unmet need that, uh, that exists to bring new therapies and new innovations to the marketplace so that those patients who've been treated with the currently available therapies can have new alternatives and a chance for even longer life. The stunning data that we had uh, uh, earlier this summer for our product carfilzomib in this disease suggested that we had an overall response in this very sick population of 24 percent. Now the natural history is that only 11 percent of patients with currently available therapies will have a response to their treatments. So we've more than doubled that and instead of one in ten, we're now looking at one in four patients who may actually have a longer life with this disease. Dr. Cole, you mentioned this idea of new therapies, uh, new drugs, new treatments. What about the pipeline at Onyx Pharmaceuticals? Maybe some more acquisitions? You've taken that strategy before. 
We, we have indeed, and it's one of the things that we're most pleased with. The acquisition of Proteolix at the end of 2009 brought us Carfilzomib and two other compounds. We've now added those compounds into our portfolio and through some other acquisitions and licensing arrangements, uh, we've built quite a nice portfolio of innovative cancer therapies. Two years ago, we had one product, Nexavar, which we talked about a moment ago. Today, we have almost eight products in our pipeline. The great news is we've built a commercially successful business with Nexavar. We've got cash flow to invest in new products and new revenue opportunities, and we're really working to accelerate the portfolio and the pipeline, bring these new innovations to the marketplace, and hopefully really do some good for patients who really do need new alternatives. I want to thank you very much, uh, Dr. Tony Coles. Uh, he is the chief executive of Onyx Pharmaceuticals, uh, sharing an update in oncology and cancer therapies.